So guys, welcome to this video. Now I thought I'd do like a little small day in the life. Uh, today I've actually been invited to Craig Valentine. Uh, he's a friend of mine. I've been to uh, his event in LA. Uh, but anyways, he invited me to his event here in London because uh, he said there's like a couple of people who follow me um, who are gonna be there. So he's like, yo dude, just come by for lunch, uh, for the lunch break. So I'm like, yeah, sure. So anyways, we're gonna be doing like a little half day in the life type thing. Um, I am currently onboarding a new client. And I thought I'd show you uh, guys something that's pretty cool. So I'm onboarding a client called O-Ring. Uh, we've been in talks for like two months now, so it's like this little piece of tech right here. Uh, it's pretty dope. <laughs> things, I think this thing's like titanium or something like that. But anyways, I'm onboarding them as you can see. And uh, if you take a look at my screen, like onboarding them uh, yesterday or like a few days ago, uh, Prince Harry actually got spotted like wearing it. Um, and ever since then, like sales have been just freaking like blowing up and, and website traffic as well. This has given us like a crap ton of uh, website traffic. So uh, yeah, that's the company or ring right there. They, they got some pretty cool, um, some pretty cool rings. Like honestly, I can just, I mean, they're a client of mine, but I can genuinely recommend it after having this for like a month now. So um, yeah, we've been a bit slow to onboard because they're, they did like 10 million in the last 10 months um, in revenue. So they're like a big, big client and they have a lot going on right now, uh, especially now with this Harry thing. Um, so been a bit slow to onboard, but uh, I got a text from Harpy. He's like, hey, dude, we like got to speed this thing up fucking like ASAP because of this new uh, Prince Harry thing. Uh, we're getting crap tons of traffic. We really got to start retargeting. So that's all going ahead this weekend. We're trying to speed up the onboarding, uh, even though they're like a massive company. There's a lot of like steps you have to go through. Um, so I don't have an NDA with them like some of my other clients. So with there's some clients where I don't have an NDA, but I'm still kind of on the edge whether I'm allowed to talk about it. Um, like there's some clients where like I just know I can talk about it, it's fine. Uh, like for example, I'm sure you guys saw maybe at the time of posting this, maybe like a month ago or something like that, I was with Motivate Design. Uh, in our contract, it was literally like, I'm allowed to say that it's Motivate Design, I'm allowed to say that I charge them $20,000 for two days. Like if that was like important to me. Uh, with Aura, I don't have one, so I'm just gonna say it. And then if I, if they tell me to take it down, then <laughs> I guess I'll take it down. But. Uh, yeah, hopefully they don't mind. So they're a client, um, they're signing this week. It's 7,800 pounds a month. That's the retainer with them, uh, just Facebook ads. And within the first, uh, within 90 days, we wanna get to 100K a month in ad spend. So it's gonna be fun. Um, so anyways, it is time to head off. So uh, we're gonna get an Uber and uh, head off to Craig's event. I know you see it, girl. This ain't sitting real good to my soul. Everywhere this little girl goes, she pick up another obstacle. Uh, she was my heart. I don't know the tribe or the fall. All right, we're gonna take a break, guys. So I want you to meet my friend Iman. <laughs> What's this up, guys? Is, uh, Jack and Aiden and, and Charles know Jack, you very Aiden, well. All right. And nope. then uh, this is Steve and David and Denise. All right, okay. awesome. I say a lot like you want to blow up your bank, not your ego. Like you don't, you don't want to have all these followers and stuff like that just as like, you know, as some like vain thing. But at the end of the day, like it doesn't matter if you are, you know, so for example, with me, with my personal brand, when I was first starting my personal brand, it was to get higher ticket uh, agency clients. You know, because at the end of the day, if you're building an agency, like the main way to do it is, you know, bust the cold calls, it's, um, you know, cold email, it's cold Instagram, it's all of this stuff, you know, and at the beginning, you got to do that. It's same thing when you're an entrepreneur, say, for example, if you're a personal trainer, you got to just like hammer it out, right? And then eventually you can transition from force into power and power is where you leverage systems, where you leverage processes and it just kind of comes to you. And it's like really trippy when it starts happening because you're like, I'm doing like a lot less work and making a crap ton more money. Like what the hell is happening? You know, kind of swinging back to my point, personal brand, it doesn't matter what space you're in. It doesn't matter if you're an accountant and you're trying to get more accounting leads. It doesn't matter if you're a personal trainer and you're trying to get more personal training leads. It doesn't matter if you run an agency and you're trying to get more agency leads or if you're trying to build a coaching and consulting business. Right? At the end of the day, no matter what it is, attention is income. Everyone talks about uh, passive income. No one talks about passive attention. Right? Because at the end of the day, every single night when Craig is going to bed, there are thousands of people who are getting exposed to his stuff, either through his ads, right? you're, running, you're running a lot of ads, um, either through his 
just like organic, like through all of these different methods. And it's the same thing with if you guys are using YouTube, like, you know, so say someone types in uh, how to get more memberships for my gym or whatever. Um, if they type that into Instagram, nothing's gonna come up. Whereas if they type that into Google, a YouTube video is gonna come up. Come up. Or if they type that into, uh, into YouTube, a YouTube's video uh, is gonna come up. So that's free organic traffic, right? Which is why I love YouTube. And I've seen more millionaires made off of YouTube than anything else in terms of like the info product space, in terms of the coaching consulting space, because it's like, while you're sleeping, there are people typing in things and you are ranking. Or you like, like, you like, like, I appreciate that. Just finished up at the Craig Ballantyne event. Uh, spoke for a little bit as well as uh, caught up. There are a few digital marketers in there, a few people who follow me. Um, so yeah, that's pretty dope. Uh, just gonna head off for lunch now, then I have to get back and get back to some real work. So uh, let's do it. So we were on the way to lunch and we like we, we walked by a Jessup's and I've been meaning to get, th that's the lens I have, the 16 and 35 f 2.8. So that's one we're using right here. I've been meaning to get this one, uh, the 85 millimeter uh, f1.4, so I'm gonna pick it up. <laughs> All right guys, so this is the 85 millimeter f1.4. Um, yeah, this thing's a beast. It's uh, between this and the 16 to 35 f2.8. Um, pretty like, solid setup. Anyways, Lewis is gonna put this thing on and uh, you wanna like try making like a little cinematic yeah. edit. Yeah, all right. He's gonna put this thing on and we'll uh, we'll go for like a quick no. cinematic edit on the way back to my house. Tell me like a treasure, don't die. I can really use it. Everybody need love, even niggas like me. You ain't sure. Tell me I could trust you. And I can really use it.